Let him work. I can see him, please. No. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon Life. So I'm doing two different videos. I'm going to be because I'm going to be title leading them a little bit different, but they're going to be this kind of based on the same thing. Um, but yeah, man, I, bro, what an emotional night just for one Chicago period. Um, a lot of us already knew that this was going to be Jay's last episode on PD, and so we were already kind of thinking about how we were going to say goodbye to him. And we get this this monkey rich. Now, the preview said that somebody is not going to come back, but I didn't think it was going to be somebody major, especially this early in the season. You don't really think it's going to be usually like in the season finale or something like that or a big episode doing one of the sweeps once or whatever like that. You expect a huge death. But this caught me off guard as I did not expect this. And probably in the next video, I'm going to talk about how I don't know how Emma comes back now because <laughs> I thought that Emma will probably be responsible because I never knew. I heard something about Hawkins not being a contract player and how his character might disappear. But some of some those reports I was saying maybe at the end of the season, not right right now. So this definitely caught me off guard. But I was thinking they also changed their mind because of Violet. People were loving it, the relationship between Violet and Hawkins that they were just going to keep him on. Um... But man, oh man, oh man. Let, let's get into this real quick. So, um, they had a huge fire um, that that happened um, towards the end of the episode. Um, it looked like in one of the theaters or whatever. And it was one of the tougher fires that they ever had uh, on the show. And basically, Hawkins came and st stumbled out of the side of the building to go help this uh, older man. But... As Bolden and Violet were looking over, they they noticed that the building started uh, crashing down and it started collapsing and all the rubble fell right on top of them. So immediately you're thinking, oh, my God, are either one of them going to survive? And it was surprising that, that Hawkins was in there. And I was like, oh, oh whoa. It, it made me think for a second, like, okay, maybe it was the older man that don't survive. Maybe that's what I, like, you know how sometimes a fire, they'll tease you in those promos, like, and nothing really happens that big. We actually, when the old man was seen as okay, when he was carted off, I was like, oh, snap. They didn't get the, they didn't get the Hawkins yet. Don't tell me this nigga died. They go over to Hawkins. This dude is out dead what a performance by violet you know chicago fire doesn't get any awards uh, on the major war shows but this is why i don't watch the major war shows because shows like this don't never get any credit for the acting performances violet put in uh, give her her flowers she put in a hell of a performance everyone was looking over everyone knew the situation she was crying her heart out it was sad to i was sad for and this is just a tv show i was sad watching her sobbing and screaming as she saw Hawkins, you know, basically dead, you know, I could not believe it. It reminded me of when Dylan lost Joe a couple of weeks ago, but I thought that this was more on a, this was bigger than that, you know, uh, because of the way the scene was, they did the scene, man. This is why the one Chicago shows are so great. When it comes to real drama, like the best of the best drama, nobody does it better than them, in my opinion, these days. Like this was crazy. I'm speechless, man. Go ahead and give this video a like, man. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments y'all got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. Um, we're going to do another video after this talking about the same situation. Um, I just wanted to title it different and actually talk about something that I know some people aren't ready to talk about. And that's a, that's okay if you're not ready, man. I, I, I totally understand because I know there was a lot of uh, Hakami fans out there. It was a fast-growing couple, too. Uh, it was so it was so good that people it felt like people wanted her together with Hawkins then Gallo. But we're gonna talk about that in the next video. Uh, I just want to reveal the poll results on the screen from last week of what people' favorite couple was. Uh, Stella Rad won handily over over uh, uh, over Hakami, uh, and I think a lot of it had to do with Hakami being a newer couple. But they got twenty seven percent against. Stella Rise, 73 percent you know Stella Rise has been together for a long time now so i kind of didn't wasn't surprised but it was a lot of votes I, I i appreciate the turnout guys 331 votes 
definitely appreciate the turnout. Uh, like I said, I always have polls sometimes. Uh, every Wednesday, I, uh, you know, I always have my One Chicago poll. Just go into the community tab on the page, as you guys see here, and just vote. Um, I actually have a poll up right now asking you guys which uh, exit had you very emotional. If you're a Chicago Fire fan, you better vote for Chief Hawkins. He's way behind at 22% right now to 78% to Jay Hawson. So definitely get in there and vote. Actually, hold on. I got I to gotta reload this page. Uh, actually, it's 134 votes, but it's, oh, it's even a bigger margin, 81% to 19%. So guys, you're a Chicago Fire fan. You better get in there and vote, man, because your boy Hawkins needs, need, needs some votes, man. So definitely get in there and vote. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do this next video. Thank you guys for watching. After news, delight.